Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Friday, January 31st. Well, an area of snow and sleet has broken out here in the southeastern part of Pennsylvania as milder air works its way into the mid-Atlantic region. We're certainly considerably milder this morning compared to yesterday morning. Temperatures this afternoon could reach 40 degrees along the I-95 corridor and should go into the 40s on Saturday and Sunday before colder air returns for the early part of next week. Next week looks like a very active week with not one, not two, but three different storm systems to deal with. One by early Monday, the second one Tuesday night and Wednesday, and the third one possibly around next Friday night and Saturday. Well, here's the latest radar loop again. An area of snow and ice pellets has broken out here across southeastern Pennsylvania. You can kind of see it the last couple of frames here right in there, a little bit of a yellow. That, I believe, would be associated with some ice pellets that the radar is picking up. So northern Chester County, all across the northern and western suburbs of Philadelphia, Montgomery and Bucks County over the next hour or two. There certainly can be some snow and sleet, perhaps even a fresh coating over the next couple of hours. By this afternoon, the warmer air should move temperatures above freezing and, again, could even reach to near 40 degrees along the I-95 corridor, big city locations later on today. Well, here's the current surface map. High pressure is situated in the southeastern part of the country and a weak flow of air out of the southwest is pumping some milder air here into the mid-Atlantic region. Again, an area of snow and sleet has broken out as that milder air rises up and over the uh, low-level cold air that we have, and there can be a coating of snow or, or sleet in the Philadelphia northern western suburbs all the way across the central New Jersey uh, over the next couple of hours. Most of the action today in terms of heavier precipitation will be out here in the middle part of this country with this developing low pressure system along this frontal system and there's really a good uh, chance of significant snow over the next 12 to 24 hours from the Rockies across the middle part of the country, places like Chicago and southern Wisconsin. This area right in here could get some uh, decent snow over the next 12 to 24 hours or so. Well, let's jump ahead to the situation late Sunday night, early Monday morning. Again, a thaw for the Mid-Atlantic region right through the weekend. A cold front system passes through the region on Sunday. That will usher in moderately colder air by the time Monday rolls around. And then we'll have to deal with our first storm system of the week. There's quite a difference right now between the Canadian and European models and the U.S. GFS model. We'll take a look at the Canadian model here for early Monday, and then we'll look at the a GFS model run a big difference right now. This is the, G, uh, the can, uh, Canadian model for early Monday morning and it will increment it uh, hourly. The precipitation type is in color. This is snow here and the pinks and reds is a frozen batch of either sleet or freezing rain. Again, darker blues here represent some heavier snow. Let's increment this now on an hourly basis and see the Canadian model actually is depicting a fair amount of snow right there across the D.C. metropolitan region early Monday morning, perhaps 7, 8, 9 a.m., extending all the way up into the southeastern part of Pennsylvania. We continue to uh, push this along on an hourly basis, and it turns out to be a decent snow event, according to the Canadian model, across D.C. all the way into southern New Jersey, the Philadelphia area, just on the northern extreme. But again, there's thrown out the possibility of some accumulating snow early Monday. Now let's take a look at the GFS model run. Well here are the forecast maps from last night's Zero Z GFS model run for the same time frame we're looking at early Monday morning and we'll jump ahead in three hour increments. At this time the precipitation only as far north as southwestern Virginia uh, as according to the GFS model run. Let's now jump ahead three hours. Well, three hours later, the precipitation does not advance all that uh, far north, still south of the D.C. area, another three hours, and still having trouble advancing into the D.C. area. This blue line kind of represents the rain-snow line here, so what falls could very well be in the form of snow on a Monday morning. Let's now jump ahead another three hours, and here you go. But the northern extent right now, the GFS model run is right across the D.C. region, and it certainly is lighter precipitation compared to the Canadian and the European model run. So we'll continue to monitor this, uh, uh, follow the SIweather.com for some updates. Again, the first threat for some accumulating snow, at least from D.C. up to about Philadelphia, 
uh, is early Monday morning. Then there's a second storm system Tuesday night and Wednesday. That looks like that could be a period of frozen precipitation, either in the form of ice and or snow, uh, followed by a changeover to plain rain on Wednesday as mild air moves in. And then another storm looks like it'll head into the eastern states by the end of the week or the early part of the following weekend. That one could have some colder air and therefore some higher probabilities of accumulating snow. So an active week next week after a thaw this weekend in the Mid-Atlantic region. That's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.